what's going on guys welcome to av atmos if you like home audio and video technology be sure to subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we release another content um the review i'm going to do today is a movie that i love and which is called bright burn it's a superhero horror movie and probably my best horror movie in throughout this year um and i really really do love this movie from the creative standpoint of things especially coming from the fact that i love dc movies and this is kind of like a horror version of superman now um i am not going to review the plot because many of you guys haven't seen it so i'm not going to ruin it for you guys that haven't seen the movie yet, but i'm going to only review the video and audio quality of this and this is on blu-ray i've not seen it in 4k if you want to buy the 4k you can check out streaming services like voodoo and um, a lot of different services amazon prime and uh and, and there are a plethora of platforms you can watch the movie in 4k now uh, you can as well buy the disc as well um for tech specs for this movie um you're getting black bars it's uh it was shot uh with 239 by one so uh, you're going to get black bars it's not full screen um the digital intermediary i couldn't find the transfer for this movie but i presume it will be 2k it was shot with alexa cameras um it wasn't really a high-tech um short movie but it was i think it's a digital transfer as well it wasn't in 35 millimeter from what i could find um, the sound mix is 5.1. The one I saw in Blu-ray was in 5.1. But if you are getting the um, 4K version, you will get the um, Dolby Atmos sound track on that disc. Um, as for video quality, I would say this is really, really good. Now, it is not uh, mind-blowing in terms of picture quality for what I got. It was really, really vibrant because most of the scenes we are in night scenes um and it has more emphasis on red because of um there are some scenes in the movie that embodied red considering the uh, the, the the lad the young child um came in a red space and uh, okay I, I really don't want to ruin it for you guys but the movie had a lot of reds in it especially in the night scene because of the storyline itself that relates to that young lad that is the um the kind of like anti-hero in the entire movie now um this movie is kind of like a replication of superman but in a twisted way um the child should have been good but um in a way it wasn't really what um you would expect from um your go-to kind of um superhero movie and that's why i like this movie it had a very strong twist it was good the cgi was done well um the visual effect was strong um you get a lot of depth here yeah you get a lot of depth it's not inky crystal clear but it is good you get a lot of um separation from the foreground and the backgrounds there is a lot of depth to this movie it may not have the best sharpness but there is a lot of depth there is a tad of green in the movie i don't know whether it's from the way it was shot but i could see that there was a bit of green in some areas it was soft in some scenes um especially when the kid is flying i think it's more relating to the budget and special effect um, rather than um, the way it was um, transferred but i feel that there are some scenes where that were soft it wasn't really um, um i would say overly demo worthy but it was good um as for video i would probably would give it a, a pass mark especially for people that look looking for something to watch on the 1080p screen as for audio in the 5.1 mix that I, I listened to it was dynamic it was good it was one of the best um sound mixes i've heard this year for any movie because of the way it was mastered now i have not heard the atmos i know the atmos will be a lot more better than the mix on this and this movie had a very very solid um mix to it like um the the, the action scenes where the kid um tries to do something you get a very very strong um sense of um 
dynamics in the bass. The bass was strong. You, you don't get this bloated surrounds that scatter around movies. Okay, um, like I, I, like movies that I was disappointed in, uh, and it just came out on Blu-ray that I will review for you guys. But when I saw it in cinema, I was disappointed with the sound mix. Was Godzilla King of Monsters? Now I do not know how it's gonna look like, but I will review for you guys. But this um brightburn was a lot more better than um king of monsters and king of monsters had a ton of budget but it disappointed me audio wise brightburn is very very good and considering that it was 5.1 mix that i had it and i was really impressed it is a movie that i i subscribe you getting in 4k you get it on the best quality possible you will enjoy it and it is something that you will um, find very very amusing because the movie in some scenes were really amusing you see it, it, a lot of people think it's going to be more of this bloody horror it is but there's the the, the the kid has the kid made me like the movie um that kid had has future in the business if he keeps acting because there is the, the composure this kid had in that throughout that movie that made me just fall in love and i really want a sequel for this movie if they're gonna make one i really want this movie to have a sequel guys um so the audio is great for me and as for rating i'm gonna give the audio a nine out of ten and that is coming from a 5.1 mix if you're seeing it in atmos probably it's a 10 over 10 this is a very good mix as for video i'll give it an eight it, it, it left a lot to be desired but it was good for what it was um, as for the movie entirely, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's technically in my top 10 best film of this year. It is great. So go out there and buy it, guys. If you like this content, go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe to our channel. Keep watching, guys. Once again, my name is Immaculate, and I'll catch you guys very much next time.